everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here it's a really fun going out occasional look it's a cranberry smoky eye with a sharp black winged liner and a little bit of glitter in the inner corner now you don't necessarily have to add the glitter you can cancel the glitter out you don't have to do the liner you don't have to take all the steps that I did but I just like giving you guys the options this eye look will be complimentary to every single eye color because cranberries look beautiful on green, blue, and brown eyes. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. The first product I'm going to be using is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I'm just rubbing this all over the skin and priming my face. Then I'm going in with foundation and I'm mixing two together and I'm using the Dior Nude Air Serum Foundation and the Cover FX Oil Free Foundation. I've been absolutely in love with the Dior foundation recently and I wanted it to be a little bit thicker and a little bit more coverage for this look so I decided to add in the Cover FX. I can't personally use the Cover FX one by itself because it's so extremely thick. So the Dior one helped kind of like sheared out and it made a perfect medium coverage foundation for me. And I'm going to be buffing this into the skin with a Morphe G6 flat buffer brush. And I love this brush when I want my foundation to be very precise and for a more full coverage foundation, it's a great brush and it's a great price point as well. So I'm just buffing this all into the skin, really pressing, not rubbing. As you'll notice, I really press and then I do a little bit of rubbing, but rubbing kind of takes the product away. And you want to make sure you take it down your neck as well. You don't want a defined line from your face to your neck. And don't worry, my foundation, I always match it to my neck, not my face, because my face is always much. Now going in with concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Full Coverage Concealer. This is my ride or die concealer. I absolutely love it. I cannot find my perfect shade with this concealer. I have been on a hunt recently and so I'm going to be mixing fair neutral and light neutral to get my perfect shade. Um, I was in Sephora the other day and I was swatching all of them trying to investigate if I can find a different one and light warm looked like it's going to work for me but they were out so I had to order it so I will have to keep you guys posted if that shade works for me but I place this concealer underneath my eye area on my nose my foreheads my cupid's bow and my chin you guys have seen me do this a million times I like to place the concealer in other areas of my face to help balance and brighten everything else out my favorite way to blend out my concealer is with a damp beauty blender I find that this works so much better than a brush. Even when I'm freelancing and doing a lot of clients, I use a damp beauty blender as well. I just think that no brush can do what a beauty blender does. So I just pat all of that out and I also pat it on my eyelid to help prime for eyeshadow. I just use my concealer and some people prefer to use a primer, but concealer works just the same. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to set my eye area and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder and the MAC Pro Shaping Powder in the shade Emphasize. Now I'm going in and filling in my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I still go back and forth between the Brow Definer and Brow Wiz. I repurchased both of them because some days I'm feeling the brow definer and some days I'm feeling the brow wiz. Just your preference. I feel like the brow definer makes my brows look a little bit on the thicker side, but the brow wiz is more for like a natural-esque day. But it's completely up to you. I'm in the shade chocolate for my brows and I just fill in the outer tail and as I work my way inwards, I kind of slowly flick upward so that the inner corner is much more soft versus the outer tail. 
you just really want to take your time with brows. I know a lot of people can get frustrated, but don't get frustrated. It really is just as simple as following the shape of your natural eyebrow. And you want to find the right brow product that works for you. Like I've been going back and forth between these, but some people prefer pomade or an actual pencil that you have to sharpen. You just have to find what works for you and really comb them out with a spoolie. Starting with shadow, I'm taking the shade Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. This shadow I can't live without. I think I use it almost every single day to start my makeup. It is just my perfect transition shade to help my blending experience along the way. And it's a, it's such a beautiful shade on my green eyes to help shine through a little bit and give a little bit of warmth to the eyes. Now I'm going in with the shade Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. And I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm placing this shade in my low crease, not too high up, and just blending back and forth, back and forth. We're not going to be super precise on our crease area. We just want to make sure everything's blown out and very blended. So I'm going back with my fluffy brush, and I am just blending back and forth, back and forth. Use whatever brushes work for you, but these are just the ones that work for me. Now I'm going in and I'm mixing two shades together. I'm mixing Cocoa Bear and Bitten. And this just gives the most beautiful, warm, rusty brown shade. And I'm, again, placing this with the Sigma E25. Really low in our crease, going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. And we will slowly just blend everything out. We want this to be super blown out. Don't be afraid to really go back and forth in a couple times, a few times, a lot of times. The more you blend back and forth in those windshield wiper motions, the more blended it will be, the more blown out it will be, and the better it will look. Some people get afraid and think it's going to get everywhere, but it's really going to make the look come together. Then I'm going back with my big fluffy brush, and I'm just blending everything together again. Now I'm going in with an Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Last Call. I've owned this shadow forever, and it doesn't even look like I've had it, I put a dent in it. It's such a beautiful cranberry wine purpley shade. It's beautiful. It has a metallic sheen to it, but it's not overly metallic. And it just really complements the warm shadows that we have in the crease. So I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush and placing this all over my lid. You can spritz your br brush with a setting spray or some eye drops to make it more metallic. Um, I do do that at the end. I spritz my brush brush after I already have the eyeshadow laid down and just kind of dampen it to make it a little bit more metallic but once I get up into the crease that's where I stop for lower lashes I am going to take this pencil brush and I'm mixing together cocoa bear and bitten the same shade that we put in our crease and I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions, really smoking this out so it's not too dark, but it again is blown out so it matches our crease, crease area. And I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. I apparently got distracted by something and stopped. <laughs> now I'm going back with the Sigma E25, and I'm just blending out the line from the Urban Decay shadow and the shadows in our crease, making sure everything is seamless and that there are no harsh lines between the two. Now I'm picking up the Morphe Fat Blending Brush and I'm now blending out my very top of my crease area so that everything is just completely seamless from lid all the way up to our brow bone. Now it's time to highlight the brow bone. I'm using any synthetic brush that you have will be perfect for this. And I'm mixing together two shades by MAC, Nylon and Shroom. They are both really great shadows. Nylon is a little bit more frosty and Shroom is on the more sheer side and is very neutral. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. You want to make sure you blend any shadow that you lay down. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a pencil brush by Morphe, and this is from their Elite collection, and I'm taking those same shadows that we highlighted our brow bone and highlighting our inner corner. 
Now using this large Morphe powder brush, I'm going to be bronzing the skin using Hourglass Ambient Bronzing Powder in Light. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. I'm bronzing the cheeks, the forehead, and my neck. I just wanted this to be really bronzy and not too structured. Now for eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Gel Liner in Blackest Black with a Sigma E65 liner brush and I just create an outline following from the corner of my eye out and then I trace it all the way into the inner corner and then I slowly fill it in. This is the easiest way that I prefer to do eyeliner is by making the outline and then slowly filling it in. This brush is super tiny it helps get everything nice and precise. I just love it. Now doing the same thing on the other side, I follow where the corner of my lower lash line stops and I take it out to the end of my brow area and I just create a line and then I follow from that line on top all the way to my inner corner. And I do it in like two steps. I do the outer part, then the middle, and then the inner corner because if you do it all at once, that's when the line can get super thick. And I did a pretty thin line today because I wanted this to be super sharp on the outer corner. We want to cut that. Then I take another clean liner brush and just clean it up with some concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes with L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. I love using this mascara when I'm using falsies. It helps create a seamless blend. Now I'm taking a Milani blush with, this is my all-time favorite blush brush right now. It's a Morphe brush, and this is in Luminoso. Now I, this is a new trick that I've been doing recently, and it's highlighting underneath my eye area using two Anastasia highlighters. Now I'm going in with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. Hiding, highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. If you're super oily, you don't want to take all the steps, but I'm dry, so I over-highlight all the time. Now for lashes, I'm going in with House of Lashes in the style Baudoir, and I'm using the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive in Black. I love using the black lash adhesive, especially when I have liner on. So you have no tan color pigment, it's black, and you're set. Now I forgot to take a clip of it, but I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. Setting that down, then I'm taking a Makeup Geek Sparkler in the shade Halo, and I am just placing that on my inner corners and just to give a pop of glitter and make it more fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that same L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black, and I'm going to really coat my lower lashes. Since the falsies on top are super long, I'm going to try to make my lower lashes just as dramatic so that it evens everything out. Now for lips, I'm taking MAC Lipstick in the shade Rebel. This is one of my favorite lipsticks, but I'm not going to really apply. I'm going to dab it onto the lips just so I get a little bit of that pigment on there because I wanted a color but I didn't want it to be too bold. So this is going to act like almost like a stain. And then I'm going to go ahead and top it off with Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Shimmer of Hope. And this is such a pretty neutral pink. It's beautiful to put over any color and this will nude out that rebel just a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spritz my face with MAC Fix Plus, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Hi, everyone. Welcome.